Which pony do you find most sexually attractive? <laughs> Probably Applejack because she's the uh, the down home farm girl kind of character, and I really like that. Now, how do you decide on a cartoon pony as something that you're attracted to? Uh, whatever. It's the personality that gets me. Do you think your parents' friends would goof on them if they found out that their son? jerks off the pony porn well some of my friends already know and they get a little bit of a laugh out of it but luckily enough they don't judge but it's not something i'm about to tell my because you know first off she doesn't need to know about any of that kind of stuff anyways right give me your best impression of the happiest pony in the world (laughs) (laughs) this goes on way too long Isn't My Little Pony supposed to be a wholesome cartoon for little girls? A lot of people can say that, but the gender stereotypes are broken every day by different means. This is just another one. Would you consider yourself to be a clopper? Sadly, yes. After you masturbate to pony porn, do you have a sense of regret afterward? No. I say sadly because there's a lot of bronies that are against it. I don't really care what they think. It's just a part of me. Have you ever watched My Little Pony with little children in the room? Yes. It's hard to get them to stop talking. If you had an opportunity to have a threesome with two My Little Pony characters, a male and a female, which two would you choose? I would choose Brayburn as the male, Mm. and I would choose Final Scratch as the female. Everyone is gay for Brayburn. Have your parents ever threatened to kick you out of the house for acting so bizarre? Yes. My dad is threatening to kick me out because I am a brony. He (laughs) is against the brony fandom, but I'm slowly easing him into it. How many times in life have you been beaten up? More than I can count. My middle school years were spent in a locker. What brings you out to brony con? Well, I love the ponies. And I gotta admit, this, this convention is not only my first convention ever, but also my first ever uh, experience. I love this fandom. It's like we all came from all over the world, and we're all good friends. What do you say to those who find your obsession with ponies odd and creepy? Well, before I saw the show, if you had told me a year ago I'd become obsessed with a TV show made for little girls, I probably would have punched you in the face. But it's been one crazy ride so far, and I couldn't be prouder to be a brony than I am today and this weekend. How old are you? I'm 27. (laughs) Now, do you currently live with your parents? Yeah. Yeah, Of course. How do they feel about uh, the whole brony fandom? They accept it, but we don't talk about it. Which A-list star is most likely a brony? Well, I heard a rumor that Bill Clinton is a closet brony. Give me your best impression of a joyful pony. (laughs) A sick pony that's on his deathbed. (laughs) Give me your best impression of a joyful pony. (laughs) How would you feel if your adult son dressed up in a pink pony outfit? Man, my son, my son, uh, he will never wear that motherfucking dress again. I will tell it. I mean, he will never wear that dress again. If he do, it won't be. It won't be around me. It will not be around me. He gonna wear that dress and don't let me know. What would you do to your son's pink pony dress? Rip that motherfucker off. I'm a black guy. This is a black guy speaking. I'm saying that I'm gonna rip it off. And I'll be like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be like, yo, what the fuck? And he'll be like, and he'll be talking about well, this minute, but then after that. Sir, what brings you out to BronyCon? Uh, ponies. I love ponies. Why do you love ponies so much? Because uh, they're, they're, they're just adorable. I mean, they're, 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 they're the best. Thing. I wish I was a pony sometimes. I, I do. Who are you dressed up as? Sweetie Belle. She's a cutie mark crusaders. Now, why did you choose this character? Well, there's, we're a trio, and, and my friends here are Apple Bloom and Scootaloo. Give me your best impression of a joyful pony. <laughs> Do you find the ponies sexually attractive in any way? A little bit, but not, like, over the top. Like, I want to do them. It's it, it, They seem kind of cute. Which pony do you find most cute? Pinkie Pie. Now, have you ever uh, clopped to watching Pinkie Pie? 
On occasions. Oh. Yeah. If you had to have a threesome, which two would you choose and why? I would have it with Pinkie Pie and Shining Armor. Are there cool images online of pony genitalia and stuff like that? Um, yeah, there, there's a lot. Does it look hot if they show, like, a pony with a spread open vagina? Yeah, it does. Oh. What do you find oh, stimulating about that? Um, it's a little more different than humans, because, let's just say, some humans are just weird and odd. What did you think about the derogatory comments that Howard Stern has made about bronies? Um, he's more on the verge of how sexual we are, even though none of us are. There are some in here that are like Klopp and such, but none are. Some of them aren't. It's just... Which pony do you find yourself most sexually attracted to? Fluttershy. She looks so innocent <laughs> and so quiet, but, when she... <laughs> but I'm guessing she's a beast in bed. <laughs> What's her most sexually attractive body part? She has a nice flank. Yeah. Give me your best impression of a sick pony. <laughs> Give me your best impression of a pony that's sick and on its deathbed. <laughs> <laughs>